Hi, beautiful. How you doing? Listen, first of all, I have to thank you for being so amazing. Today was the launch of my new shampoo and conditioner, my first shampoo and conditioner, Project X, and I just wanted to thank you um, if you purchased uh, or if you just showed support. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's been incredible having X Mondo, having my own products, and I've worked so, so damn hard on all of it. To see you guys purchasing a lot is really, really cool. I'm really grateful to have you guys in my life and to have you all watching and supporting and helping me live out my dream. Thank you. It's all I really wanted to say. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't checked out Project X yet, it is linked below. It's my shampoo and conditioner. It is fabulous. All the details are on the website. So if you'd like to know more about the product, links below or at xmonohair.com. If I look crazy today, it's because I'm <laughs> deathly ill. <laughs> I'm here and I'm taking sneeze breaks every five seconds, but I'm still ready. Duty calls is reaction Sunday. Today we're watching some girls go very bright red. Rihanna red when she did that thing. Really, 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 really bright red. And now listen, love a natural redhead. Love a copper girl. Love a girl with some ginger hair. Love that. It's so good for them. It's so good for me. I love it. I love it. I love it. However, when we start going into the violet reds and the bright reds and the red red, the deep, 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 deep reds, I'm not a huge fan. I don't know why that is, but it, I think reds just remind me of like young people and you're using box dye. You know what I mean? It's just not my favorite. We're gonna watch some girls color their hair fire engine red today. And will I like any of it? I am unsure of that. Probably not. I'm gonna try and like it. At least they're changing their hair color. Let's watch some girls go from natural brown to bright red. Let's do it. All right, our first video is by Dacia E, and it's called Dying My Curly Hair Red. Oh, I love me some curly hair. Hey everyone, it's Deja. So today, Deja, I'm going to be filming yes. my Look at that hair, hair video, and it is of me dyeing my hair red. It's not it's so me pretty. dyeing my hair. My mom is going to do it. And don't worry, she used to do this all the time, but I don't know if this is going to work today. Um, Why? Because I recently... Well, not recently, like last summer I tried to dye my hair red again and it didn't work because I had black on top of it and then I dyed it black again. Well, that'll but do I it. I haven't dyed it black in a while and my red is slowly starting to come back. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this color on her, like this natural brown, like it's really pretty. Maybe some highlights would be nice or just like be a redhead. I'm thinking it's probably not a good idea. Better than having brown hair, I guess. I don't know. What, did I just say I like the brown then I didn't like the brown? I don't know anymore, I'm sick. It's my excuse for everything today. I don't know what's going on. We'll see what happens, but this is my hair before, and I do have a little bit of red in the back. So oh, I like see, I, said I my see. Hair straightening video. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be filming the process. She has very copyright music on. <laughs> um, not trying to get demonetized here. She's using high color in shade H9. This seems to be the go-to for everybody doing at home red color. What developer is this? Ain't nobody telling me. I think she said 30 volume, but we may never know. This stuff like really, really is really pigmented. I mean, this makes people's hair so damn red whoa okay cover that sink girl we don't want to get the red anywhere it gets everywhere it is violent okay mom look at mom go she is living ah. <laughs> mom is going in with that red she is gonna hit those roots and she is gonna get in there this isn't that hard of an application process because she's just doing all of her color daisha says she has black color on her hair already didn't she am i hearing things right i think so here's a little good pointer i think i've said this once before color does not lift color you have to use lightener to lift color out of your hair if she does have pre-existing color in her ends or all around her hair. The red might not work out so well, or she might get like really red roots and the ends might not take it all because color doesn't lift color. I am excited for her to not have, you know, just brown hair. You know what? I feel like there's always something better to do with your hair than have it brown. I'm just gonna put it out there. You can have brown hair, but I think everybody needs some kind of dimension in their hair. I just feel like 
a solid brown color that doesn't even reflect light. Like most people with their natural brown colors, it's very dull, it's very like non-reflective. I think everybody needs some kind of brightness to the brown. I just feel like it's not a good idea to have like solid brown hair. And her hair is already turning a bright red. And mom is lathering that stuff in there. Ouch. I hope she hasn't washed her hair in a while because otherwise her scalp's gonna burn really bad. But like her curls with the red is gonna look kind of good. But I still hate like fake red hair. I don't hate it, but it's just like a lot. Let's let that process. So basically this wow. is what I'm working with right now. I just have the bag on my head. I have to let oh it sit my for God. Another seven minutes okay so she's just saying how long she's letting it sit on her head again very copyright music i think this is like when you're with me i'm ready whatever that song is when you're with me, I'm ready. Ah! you can tell her ends did not take she's living though she's ready for this change girl she is ready and so am i <laughs> i don't think that it went through oh, like wait. it went through my roots obviously but like the ends of my hair and like the back it went through. Wait, I'm so confused. I honestly thought her hair was gonna be so red and it's not at all. There it is, color does not lift color. This is what happens when you try to color your hair with color and it's already pretty colored. It just doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. The chemicals don't react with each other. They cannot lift each other out. It's very weird actually, now that I think about it. As you can see, her roots got red and her ends stayed black. She's saying that she's not exactly happy with the outcome, which is very understandable. I'm gonna have to narrate this a little bit because, girl, you're still using copyrighted music. Can we stop? I've been laying in bed, okay. so it hasn't really had time to dry, but yeah. I noticed that. Oh my, my curls are a little messed up. Ah! Okay, so she's talking about how her curls are now destroyed and she's very upset about it and i don't blame her she's been trying to get her curls back apparently and now they're gone again and um that's devastating but that's what happens when you put probably a 30 40 volume developer on your head and try to color it when your hair is already pre-colored it just gets a little damaged you know oh girl we're gonna need to lighten those ends a bit it's not looking too good cute okay it's cute up so she's loving her hair up and i agree i think it looks so good up you know what i'm happy she doesn't have brown hair anymore just like dark brown no highlights no nothing going on i think this red complements her a lot more and brings out her personality and i really respect the change bravo deisha i live for it i think you actually look great but i also think it could have been done a lot better because those ends do not look good. Those dark ends are kind of a mess. I think we need to go back and recolor those. I would recommend maybe using 20 volume and lightener, going through lightening all those ends, and then using a demi-permanent violet red to tone the ends and make it all one solid color or make the ends kind of like a lighter red. I think it would look really pretty if you had that deep red on the top and then a lighter red on the bottom or even like a pink. Ooh, that would be so Fun for you. Yeah. But Deisha, I actually approve. I'm surprised. Okay, this next video is by Ivan Ravonke. How to dye your hair without bleach. Very easy. And today I'm gonna change her hair from light brown to red. Like my color red. And you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do her right. You feel me? Hopefully. You feel okay. me? If I do her right. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Do her right, girl. Do her right. We about to say, first. I'm gonna burn your hair. I'm gonna oh. dip it in bleach and do <laughs> ball headed. Okay. Like, and you're gonna do what? No, thank you. So I'll be using the color red and the color magenta. Everybody uses this color, high color. It's just, I guess, the thing to do. I think I did use this on people when I was younger. I guess it's just like the most intense bright red possible. 40 salon care. 40 volume. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You guys would need a <laughs> comb. That you is gonna make her hair so red. 40 volume with high color. Oh, wow. Gonna be red. And make sure you part in, I said part in. Make sure you part your hair into four places. Like, turn around with the flip and see. Yes, 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 yes. We love a sectioning queen. Okay, so they are applying some protective. Oh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I'll put Vaseline in between the hair, where basically where you sectioned it off. So in between, all down, you know, all around, and whatever, and yeah. Girl, why are we putting Vaseline on her parts? 
You can put Vaseline on the perimeter of the hairline, but I would not recommend putting it on your hair because the color maybe won't go through because the Vaseline is gonna fill all those hair fibers in and not allow the color to fully penetrate the hair cuticle. I would never put Vaseline on somebody's hair before I color it. That doesn't make sense. I wouldn't really recommend putting Vaseline on anything to be honest. It's not a good hydrator. You like think it's hydrating, but it's really just like putting a barrier on your face and your skin and your whatever, you, where you're being put it. It's not actually hydrating. It's actually just disgusting. It's like petroleum. Okay, we're using a cup, a solo cup to mix. I love that. I love that. This movie has so much. We ended up dividing it in half. <laughs> a nice consistency. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mix of paint. But like, it's really supposed to be like, you know, you feel me? Like, you see how it's all nice, just like that. So I'm about to go start applying it. <laughs> okay, so she is going in with her hands. She is getting that red all over her brown hair. And it's gonna go away in a few minutes. We're gonna see her with red hair. Kind of excited. This is gonna be a big change for her. I think it's going to really look good though. Maybe I do like red hair. Am I having a red hair awakening right now? <gasps> What's going on? Oh, wow. That is red. Holy crap. Okay, so especially with her fine hair, she has thick hair, but she has fine hair fibers. That is going to really lift her hair. If she has her natural hair color, which I think she does, and they're not trying to color over pre-existing color, this is going to be extremely bright red. And I'm ready for it, I think. We shall see. Whoa. Do you see that? Oh, wow. She is changing that hair color and it's gonna be for the better it's almost like pink rather than the brown color she had before it was just boring come at me bro i don't give a shit i don't love solid brown hair i just don't i don't think any hairstyles really does oh whoa this is right after she washed it oh my gosh uh. <laughs> She did a great, precise job at coloring. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, because she has pre-existing color on her ends, probably. I don't personally like when it goes light to dark, because it doesn't make any sense. But uh, maybe dark to light? would be better. Color the roots a little darker. It'll give a little more of a natural, interesting look if the top part of her hair was darker and the ends were lighter. You could even go in with a darker red on top now, on top of this, with a little bit of a toner situation. Deepen the top, leave the ends the way they are, even it out a bit. In my opinion, that would look better, but this is definitely a big change. It's kind of fun, kind of not my favorite, but kind of fun. At least she changed it, her hair. At least she took some risks. Isn't that what life's about? Yo, that is so yes. red. Anyway, so from like brown to that red, no, bright just, just turn back like you about to leave. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. <laughs> no, it's really good, guys. So. Uh, okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Not my favorite. Either lighten the ends, deepen the roots, make it a little more even. I don't know. That is never coming out, girl. Not until it grows out. But to each their own, you know? Okay, we have Christina GTO going from dark brown hair to red. Dollar sign, dollar sign. No bleach. Let's see what happens. Yo, she's got so a lot of hair. And of course, we're using high color, high color again with 30 volume. Magenta. Okay. Then we're going to use the 30 Magenta. volume cream developer. And then I have one of these little That's gonna be bright. container, whatever. Oh! And my drink cup. And then I need some Vaseline to put on my edges, in my ears. <laughs> Not in my ears, but like around my ears. Put it all in your ears, girl. I'm trying to be staying. I got school tomorrow, so. Yes, Country Croc. The best mixing containers. They make the best mixing bowls. This is gonna be wild. Put that 30 volume in that cup. Put that 30 volume in that cup. And don't. It up. Don't don't get up. Thirty yeah. volume in that cup. Then don't get up. Don't get up. Oh! 
Yo, I can't get over how red this stuff I mean, is. What do they like, put in that, that color? Brush it. This is the consistency. That is the smallest like application brush I have okay, ever but seen. But this is the consistency in my that life. it ended up looking like. It looks pretty good. It looks like she also has pre-existing color on her ends. You can see it. Color doesn't lift color, guys. It's not gonna lift it out. We'll see though. She's probably gonna end up with dark ends and light roots like everybody else. Okay, like even if I don't love the change, I think change is so fun that I just like can't help but like it. Even if like it's not my total style, like it's still fun. And the application process is Good. She is starting with the ends, which, by the way, if she didn't have pre-existing color, which I think she does, so it doesn't really matter anyways. If she had her natural hair color all the way through her hair, you would start at the ends in this case because the ends process faster than the roots. And if you apply the roots first, you'll get what's called hot roots, which is when the roots are literally like they look hot because they process too long and the ends didn't process enough. So you get darker ends and lighter roots. Um, even if you're not using bleach, that still happens with regular color. So when you're doing like a virgin color application is what it's called, you start at the ends because they're the coldest point of the hair, then the mids, and then the roots, which is the warmest part of the hair because you get the heat from your scalp. Because like as a human, you have like heat coming from your body. I don't know if you knew that or not, but like... That's the deal. And we're lathering. I need to make a t-shirt that says color doesn't lather because the amount of people that try to lather color and bleach, it doesn't lather. It's not shampoo. It's not gonna help if you go. Guys, I didn't think it was actually gonna work, but I have red hair now. Yeah. You can see it more in the sunlight, but- Show us. Show me. Like. Show me in the like sun. A girl from Sharkboy <laughs> movie, that movie. Before. Okay, got it. Got the visual. Whoa! Whoa! That actually worked out so well. Whoa! Dude, that looks sick. Wow, the shine on her hair. I see you blow out. That looks so good. I wish I could see her face. Where's your face, girl? I do like it better than the dark hair. Okay, fine, guys. I like red hair. I don't think it's the optimal choice, but I like it better than just plain brown. This is fun. This is great. And that is bright red. Honestly, it's a really gorgeous deep red. It has a lot of depth. It looks fabulous. It looks like a high definition color. I approve of this. It's good for you. Okay. Okay, fine. It looks kind of good. <laughs> Look that nice. Okay, fine. They were good. It was fun. That was good to watch. They all had pretty good outcomes. I'm not gonna lie. I like it better than what they had before. They all look brighter, funner, cuter. I don't know. It was good for them. The red hair looks nice. And that is all I have for you guys today, today, today. Today. A new episode of Brad and Eric will be out next week on my other channel, Brad and Eric, which is linked below, linked on the end screen. Check out my new shampoo conditioner, Project X, linked below. Thank you for the support on that. Follow me on social media, Brad Mono NYC, and my brand X Mono Hair on Instagram and Twitter. That is all for today. I'm gonna go rest and get over this sickness. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.